Literacy and Vocational Education by Becky Breda. Illiteracy and Job Training Skills in a Technological Global Economy. The countries are South Africa, Vietnam, and the United States. Improving and Implementing Literacy and Vocational Education Issues in South Africa and Vietnam, which have already been established in the United States, however still needs more work, can improve the conditions of individuals and families in all three nations along with economic status. Literacy and vocational education skills can help individuals and families become self-supporting with the ability to participate in a global economy. South Africa, with 50 years of apartheid behind them, South Africa became a democracy. The sub-Saharan region, which refers to the areas that lie south of the Saharan desert, have been identified by inadequate development, poverty, declining public services, and the collapse of the social-political infrastructure. South Africa has the highest proportion of poor people, of which 46.3% of the population is affected. Not only is there a lack of material wealth, they also lack the power to address their circumstances. The challenges and debates include the recreation of administration, executives, changing the curriculum, attention to early child care, adult basic, and special education, along with training for teachers for literacy and vocational education. The lack of literacy also created other challenges that were related to disproportions based on gender, location, nationality, and disability. Vietnam, the greatest majority of the population, lives in the lowlands, where population density is high. An example is the Red River Delta, where there are about over 7,250 individuals per square kilometer. The challenge was to expand the school system and include special efforts to enable children in remote areas, while at the same time, expenditures on primary education was increased. Vietnam's literacy and community development program included three key principles. Relevance, the curriculum should be based on local context and needs. Learner and community participation, learners and their communities should be actively involved and the community must get involved with the program along with social networks which can help support the process of learning and the community. The United States consists of ethnic and linguistically diverse populations from Asia, Africa, England, and the Middle East and many other nations with a population over 300 million. The social fabric in the United States can be divided into three social cultural contexts, diverse demographics, settler society, and the democratic society that is also how schools are situated in the United States. With the 1960 civil rights movement, multicultural education was developed as an educational reform which has inspired dialogue and practices at all levels of the United States education system. In addition, this century has presented continuing and new challenges and debates as the United States comes to terms with the accelerating social and technological changes. These changes are linked to an increasingly global economic community, instantaneous communication networks, and an increased urban, heterogeneous, and multicultural school-age population. In order for these nations to compete with the vast amount of commerce and technology, literacy has once again come into the forefront of education. Being illiterate without any vocational education skills financially affects the individual, which immediately affects the family, which can keep them in poverty. This in turn affects the economy and puts a drain on the resources of the community of which these families live and the nation as a whole. And this is the end of my presentation.